This is a report about edible insects in Cameroon and it's from the west part of the country, the English speaking earlier British southern Cameroon, in the middle of the tropical rainforest of Africa with the big city Douala and next to it higher about 1000 meters above sea level Buea um, on the side of the Mount Cameroon. So if you go on a market here, you will find a lot of things that are interesting and sometimes curious for uh, Europeans, um, but you will not find a lot of edible insects here. Why? Because people are orientated more to the sea, than, so they eat more sea food than sky food, than insect food. That is more the case in the hinterland. So we have to go to Loom, about 200 kilometers to the north, and from there uh, we go in the direction Kumba, and we have to leave our car in Tombel, because from here we can only uh, go further with the motorbike. Also here you already see people who collect insects, but this man not for food, he collects the insect for insect collectors worldwide. So they are in alcohol here for preparations. Then we go to Niososo. It's an old Bakosi village uh, near the old volcano Mount Coupe in the middle of a um, biodiversity hotspot of Africa. Here you find more than 200 birds and a lot of other animals. You see the Mount Coupe volcano here and an old building from the missionary station that was built here 100 years ago. Chutbu and Edwin are discussing the insects that have been caught for our research project at the Zurich University for Applied Sciences in Switzerland. This is Mechunorina torquata immaculicolis, a big male. Um, that was eaten here traditionally in the older days, also in the form of the adults, not only in the form of the larvae that are uh, rare to find. Also you see Polyphemus here and Savage, and here's the um, bucket with the males that have been separated from the females. Yes, the tropical forest is wet and cool up here, more than 1000 meters above sea level. We set up a light trap with six cold cathode fluorescent lamps driven by a car battery and it attracted millions of, of ants. Also the males of the soldier ant uh, we see here traditionally here termites of course are eaten also if you find them. Then we find here of course a lot of the Saturnid, Doctyloceras, Lucina here, uh, then we find Imbrosia epimetea, Imbrosia obscura at the light trap, and also Nuda aurelia dion, and here Imbrosia ebris, a very nice species also. Of course later we find Buneo, Old Sinoe. I mean this is, uh, these are common African species, the caterpillars of them are eaten uh, everywhere also in Cameroon. And here we are at the business meeting with Danny, the Arab, Jude Bush discussing prices and um, specimens for collectors, Mekunorina Sabake and Torquavata Immaculicolis. And also here we find edible insects like this big Prochytrupes species um, and Danny explains how uh, they are slaughtered. Yes, they the one part of the legs is removed, also the wings, and then at the end of the abdomen, a part of the digestive tract is torn out before they eat them. And of course, also the palm weevil, here the African species, Rhynchophorus ferritis, is uh, commonly eaten here in the form of an adult, but also, of course, much more in the form of the larva that lives inside palm trees and is a, can be a serious pest also here.
And you see a lot of other insects here, like these rose chavis. Some sorts of them have been eaten traditionally also, but today they are a special thing, like stag beetles here also for collectors and beetle breeders.